welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video for the SimBrief in which I'm going to talk about the latest update that SimBrief got on 28th of May 2024. With this update, the takeoff performance calculator and the landing performance calculator is now available which you can use for any flight simulator. But for this specific video, I'm using Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'm using the default Airbus A320 Neo which doesn't have an electronic flight bag because if your plane has an EFB or the tablet then you can do the takeoff performance calculation and the landing performance calculation. Uh, for the bigness, the electronic flight bag comes over here. So if you have the version 2 of the Airbus A320 Neo in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, you will see this tab over here. So now I will just take you to same brief and uh, I will just discuss the calculator with you in detail. So now this is the interface uh, for same brief for performance and tools where you can get the takeoff and landing performance calculations. Before we proceed further, I would just like to identify one thing that it's a very good calculator. You get all the speeds for the takeoff and for the landing and the flap settings. The only missing thing is the settings for the trim uh, during the takeoff because uh, it's not available. Otherwise, you will get everything over here in the sim brief. So once you come over here, you will see the interface like this and you can populate from the last flight and it will get you the aircraft type that you're using. Uh, the air airframe as I'm using the default so that's why default is selected uh, the takeoff runway is also there shorten length if you want to shorten the length of the runway by certain feet or meters you can do it over here you can change the units over here for this uh, length uh, I will just show you once I calculate I will tell you how to do that then weight coming in kilograms or pounds depending upon your region you can change it then the takeoff weight is coming 68.4 tons and uh, flap settings optimum you can uh, also select one two or three but remember this thing for the bigness i'm just uh, giving a disclaimer or a kind of uh, information rather than a disclaimer that uh, for the takeoff you need flaps because flaps provide uh, lift but they also provide drag so that's why the plane uh, speed is compromised so that's why you try to take off on the optimum setting. So always use optimum for this. And the thrust setting, it's automatically coming as toga and flex. You don't need to change it. Bleed is off. And uh, anti-ice settings, I keep it off because uh, right now it's summers. I'm uh, flying in very high temperature right now. Today, I think it's it was 46 degrees in Riyadh. So these are not icing conditions. But if you are flying in icing condition, you can set it to auto or maybe you can set it to engine and wing, whatever the settings you have in the cockpit. Uh, then the weather is automatically coming. You can always click it and uh, the weather will be updated. This is the wind, direction and the speed, the temperature and the pressure. You can always change it like this. And uh, the surface condition, dry or wet. And uh, that's it. Now you have flex zoom temperature. This is enabled. Um, I will just uh, right now tell you what is the flex temperature. Uh, this is actually a terminology that's used in the Airbus planes and if you're talking about the Boeing planes, it's ATM which is the assumed temperature method. In this method, either Airbus or Boeing, uh, you assume that the outside temperature is higher than the actual one. So let's say uh, maybe the outside temperature is 44 right now, but uh, your flex to temp might be 58 or 60 degrees. So the flight management computer guidance system actually uh, tries to give less thrust to the engine or less power to the engines to put less stress on the engines because obviously it's very hot so that's why uh, you assume this temperature and in winters obviously you also do it because if you have got a very long runway then why put so much pressure on the engine so you can just take off if you can take off with a reduced thrust why not you do it so that's why uh, you use this flex uh, method or assume temperature method if you're talking about Boeing. And then improve uh, climb calculations. Um, this is also, this should be also enabled. It will give you a good speed. So if I calculate right now, you will see that, that I've got the takeoff performance uh, calculations and the registration number of the plane is coming, the aircraft type is coming, engine type is coming, takeoff weight is coming, bleed is set to off, and then the flaps setting one, um, and plus uh, you have got the thrust setting flex so once you are taking off you'll bring your throttle to flex assume temperature is uh, right now 67 now you have the v1 vr and v2 speed v1 is the speed at which you can reject so it will just come over here the latest reject 
and uh, it will take this distance to stop so that's it this is the v1 vr is the speed where you rotate so you come over here v1 and uh, till the before this point if you decide to abort the takeoff you can still do that but if you are more than this speed then you have to take off at vr which is 153 knots same as v1 and then just right immediately after the takeoff you have to reach to this speed 154 because it is the speed at which the plane can still fly with a single engine so if you have any failure and you want to come back and land again you can do that so that's why you try to reach to this speed then takeoff limits are coming maximum weight is coming maximum temperature is coming and uh, so on and so forth weather information is coming and plus your flight information is coming so i think i've covered everything uh, for the flaps and uh, for the thrust setting and then you can calculate and uh, now you can just go over there in the plane you can enter these speeds this information and that's it so 153 153 154 and 67 so i can enter 153 153 154 and the flex to temp is coming to 20 which is not right so 67 and you can set the flaps to 1 and that's it the only issue is this that for the takeoff you have to set the uh, the trim uh, for the pitch whether to pitch the nose up or down during the takeoff uh, you always do this uh, flight control is actually not available uh, in this plane you cannot see it but you know you roughly adjust your uh, trim based on the center of gravity of the plane so this is the only thing that's missing i think if it's added in the future it will be a very good feature you don't have to use the electronic flight bag or if the plane doesn't have an electronic flight bag then you can do it now coming back to sim brief uh, you can go to this option uh, for the landing performance and uh, then you can just hit calculate and it will just tell you that uh, do you have sufficient runway to to stop uh, the runway at which you are landing is 12 right and uh, flaps with full or three this is what you can select um, always remember try to have the maximum flaps because then you can land at a lower speed and uh, your control over the plane increases brake settings uh, you can always set it to medium low or max but remember this thing that let's say if you're landing with maximum uh, brakes then the brakes will heat up uh, in the default plane for the airbus a320 neo you don't get this alert but let's say if you are flying the v2 and you have the maximum brakes the brakes will heat up so you also try to go with the medium brakes or the low brakes because obviously brakes will not heat up in this hot weather reverse thrust i'm using yes and uh, vref additive j just as a precaution it adds five to the vref in knots okay so let's say if the approach speed is set by the plane at 130 whatever the speed it just adds five to it and it's 135 it's a precautionary measure then you have the wind information and calculation method dispatch method whether you want to use um, the information in the dispatch or the in-flight method you have to select in-flight method and always select the factored distance not the actual distance you can you know because some factors are added and this is how it's done and then you can calculate so now you know the, the flaps because you set the flaps to full so the only thing that you want to know is uh, the level of brake that you need so even with low brakes you can uh, let me just change it to optimum you can still see the low option is coming so you can still stop over here in 8000 feet and then you can just exit the runway there is one more thing i would just like to tell you uh, the shortened length so uh, if i want to let's say assume that the runway is actually not 15000 feet it's uh, let's say i can reduce it by 912 feet so if i type 912 so the runway length will be now 15000 feet so it has shortened it by 912 feet and then i can always further reduce it by 1912 and it will take it up to 14000 feet and then the speeds will also change let's see if i reduce it by 3000 any impact no there is no i think but if i go up to 4000 let's see yes now you can see it's coming back and uh, 6000 
yeah now the speed is 144 145 and uh, that's it so it it will change but no need to do it just uh, keep it like this for the flight simulation and you will have a good flight i hope uh, this was a good video and um, i hope you will also subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates because uh, now the weekend has just started and in the next coming two or three days i will be doing lots of videos on my channel i will be posting them so if you subscribe to my channel you will get the latest updates thank you very much for staying with me have a nice day hope to see you soon